Last time on Game Grumps! Don't bother thinking about something that can't be understood no matter how much you think about it. <laughs> that was the smartest, dumbest thing I've ever heard you say, <laughs> yeah. Bianca. Ah, that would never, I would never, that I would never, that I would, ah, let me start over. Ah, Aaron, take a breath. <laughs> that I would ever experience such a dream. Not just awful, super awfully awful. Thank you. I have contributed a lot. Yeah. If you need any more from me, I'll yeah, be over here. You. Great job, Dr. Seuss. It was too awful with a bat. It was too awful in a hat. <laughs> I love chickens. Let's raise them up big and fat. Then we can make fried chicken. Oh, or barbecue. Decisions, decisions. Oh, well, or how about raw? Because there's nothing fresher than raw, right? I mean, we could all get sick and die, what? but... <laughs> but what the heck is your precious? Shut up. How about if you get stuck in a hiring freeze or die penniless on the street? What? Hey, I'm Grump. I'm not so Grump. And we're the Game Grumps. And hello. We are back, baby. Mm, mm, mm. I'm, uh, <laughs> David. <laughs> where, where am I? <laughs> it's like me, like, pulling the dirt off me. Of <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, this is this is when people find out that um, in between Game Grumps episodes, you and I are just buried deep within the <laughs> earth, so we can recharge our battery cells and then be ready to do another episode. Just absorb the nutrients of the earth. Yeah. Oh, it was cold down there. <laughs> oh my god, all right. Here we go. Uh, so Kyoko is telling us that um, she stole something from the head. The key. Correct. Okay. What? You snuck into the headmaster's room, but wasn't it locked? However, the lock was broken. <laughs> By me. <laughs> what? Yeah. Correct. It was Sakura. She did it for us. She did? Indeed. Remember what she said in her note? I'm not going to just lay down and die. I will fight you. So Sakura broke into the headmaster's room for us? That's right. That's right. So that we could uncover whatever secrets may, might lay hidden within. She did that for us, Sakura. Do you have <laughs> fucking biscuits in your ears, dude? Like, yes. I just, I just imagine he's like, he's like Blair witching it in the corner, just like staring at the wall. She, Sakura, she did this for us. She did it. She fights, Sakura. <laughs> it's like, dude, are you okay, man? Oh my God. Yeah. She violated the school regulations to help us. She'd already decided to die, so her last act was to defy the rules of this place. Indeed. The only question is, who did she do it for? <laughs> <laughs> I noticed the room was open after the class trial was over yesterday. But if I just strolled into the room, Monokuma would have noticed right away. Which is why... I used you as a decoy. So you asked me to meet you at the data center in order to... Correct. I wanted you to draw Monokuma's attention. I took that opportunity to sneak into the headmaster's room. And as a result, I found this But key. wouldn't that be on cameras? Wow. Then what you told me about yesterday- Maybe cameras only work when they help the plot move. Yeah. On. <laughs> what you told me about yesterday, did that come from the headmaster's room too? Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> the 16th the 16 student lying hidden, lying hidden somewhere in this school. When you poop in a bowl of Rice Krispies. <laughs> yeah. Did you find- Maybe my favorite- Maybe your favorite thing that I've ever said. <laughs> it's so funny, it just came out of nowhere. Uh, <laughs> do you find out about- Did you find out about this Mukuro Ikusaba while you were in there? Indeed. I did find a file in the headmaster's room that talked about her, yes. I don't know all the details yet, but one thing I do know is that Makuro is Ikusaba is dangerous. D dangerous! In other words, she may be very well the she may very well be the mastermind. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but didn't Alter Ego say that the headmaster was probably the mm -hmm. <laughs> No, the headmaster isn't the mastermind. I'm sure of that. Damn. What? I don't have proof yet, but I have no doubt I'm right. <laughs> Who needs proof when you have assuredness in yourself? <laughs> it felt like the most genuine what in the entire game. <laughs> it's like, what? Why would you know? How do you know that? 
to make such a strong statement without proof, that's not like Kyoko at all. But if it isn't the headmaster, then maybe it's the master head. Does that mean Mukuro Ikusaba really could be the mastermind? Anyway, we're on a highway to the danger zone. So pack your bags, bitch. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> this key is the one big opportunity we've been waiting for to get our hands on. She's like trying an opportunity to like get a laugh. She's like thinking about how serious she is all day. She's like, maybe I should say something funny. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to work in a joke at precisely 4.16 p.m. <laughs> bitch. Uh, anyway, this key is the one. <laughs> no. Now that we've grasped it, we can't let it go, can sure, we? Sure, but I mean, what's this key even unlock? So... It's the key to my heart! Hmm? I don't know yet, which is why. It unlocks my room, so conveniently, nothing has changed. I need you to draw Monokuma's attention again, while I go and find out. Do you love me? My head's kind of shaped like a valentine when you look at it. <laughs> Wait, so you're planning on sneaking back in again? You can't! That's way too dangerous! And you want me to draw his attention, but we don't actually know there's just one mastermind, right? If there's more than one person watching us... But if they didn't... But they didn't catch... Uh, but they didn't catch on last night, right? Maybe we just got lucky. Or maybe the mastermind can't monitor us and control Monokuma at the same time. Oh. Uh huh? Like I said, we didn't get caught last night. But as you said, maybe it was pure luck. Which is why we're going to run the experiment one more time. And if we're successful again, then I won't die. <laughs> then, then what may have just been a lucky guess will be proven true. As Kyoko talked, she was calm and collected as ever. I couldn't help but just stand there and listen. Hey. If it's true that the mastermind can't watch us and control Monokuma at the same time, and there would have to be a period of time when the mastermind is vulnerable. <gasps> what we need to do is find out for sure if that's actually true, and if we can exploit it. Maybe, them. but no matter what the reward, the risk is just too high. When I think what might happen if we fail... Why is that? I don't think you need to worry all that much. After all, have you ever thought of how funny <laughs> the word exploit is? <laughs> exploit. <laughs> Oh, baby, I'm gonna exploit! <laughs> it sounds like when, like, like slime, like, pools up and then drips down and just exploit! <laughs> oh, he exploited! <laughs> oh, God. Okay, please continue. Okay. Uh, with mi uh, I think this is you, actually. Maybe yeah. her, yeah. With minimal restrictions, you are free to explore Hope's Peak Academy at your discretion. Oh. No restrictions have been placed on our efforts to solve the mystery. Am I wrong? Tell me I'm fucking yeah. wrong. Even when I took the key, I didn't break any rules as far as I can tell. <laughs> Am I wrong? Can you look at me and tell me that I'm wrong? <laughs> Take a good long look at this super right face. <laughs> yeah, but if the mastermind decides to do something, all the rules in the world won't matter. He could kill us all without a second thought! I see. In that case, even if the plan fails, we'll still be able to prove or disprove that hypothesis. What? I mean, yeah, one of us will be dead. In a moment of crisis, will the mastermind break their own rules or adhere to them no matter what? In other words... In other words, we gain something whether we succeed or not. Now there's no reason not to do it, right? Uh, we still other could die. One of our death, <laughs> yeah. yeah. But... If you spend all your time trying to avoid danger, You'll never move forward. Oh. Apparently a very important line. Wow, she line. basically just said, fucking grow a pair. <laughs> we know the danger, but if that risk means solving the mystery, we have no choice. You hey. fucking nutless wonder. <laughs> Am I wrong? <laughs> she came down! She wore a crown and came down in a bubble, dog! <laughs> <laughs> That, Was that from Wizard of Oz? <laughs> yeah, you've never seen that video? No. The guy's having an argument after a game of headbands. <laughs> He's like, HOLD UP! HOLD UP! HOLD UP! Oh, that's right, that's right. <laughs> yeah. And he's super mad. HER SISTER WAS A WITCH! <laughs> <laughs> so 
<laughs> I had never seen the slightest hint of fear or despair in Kyoko's eyes. Her gaze was firmly fixed on the mystery ahead, the enemy standing before us, and with that in view, I was like, wow, what a nice view. She just smiled. <laughs> I can't change how I feel, and I wouldn't if I could. And I couldn't if I would. I am a cyborg. <laughs> <laughs> Meow. Then Kyoko took something from her coat pocket and held it out to me. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. What's this? It was her AI chip. <laughs> Consider it a symbol of my determination. Don't open it yet. Only open it if something ever happens to me. No! No! Don't anything happen to her, yeah. please. If something happens... That's exactly what Sa <laughs> That's what Sakura said, and she was dead within the hour. <laughs> yeah. What could possibly happen? However... I'm not planning on dying, but there's always a chance I could pencil it in. <laughs> I have a free... Th I have a 330 that I could skip. And a death without meaning is unappealing. Hey. Please, I want you to hold on to it for me. Fine, I'll hold on to it, but I'm not gonna like it just because you asked me to. But I'm gonna give it back at some point, you can be sure of that. Indeed. Yes, of course. Just lay it on my corpse. Oh, and one more thing. You can't tell anyone about else about what I've discovered. Sure, because then there's a chance the mastermind might fight out, right? Indeed. Well, there's that too. Uh, you mean there's something else? It's nothing. Forget I said anything. Oh, I can't just forget that easily. So then. She soups <laughs> likes you. Okay then, shall we begin? Makoto. I'm counting on you, Makoto. I just have to get Monokuma's attention, right? Well, I'll give it my best shot. Goodbye. I'm going on ahead. The rest is up to you. Oh god. Her curt goodbye was no different from any other time. And like every other time, she moved at a brisk pace as she left. Try not to bitch it up. What wasn't like every other time was the sudden knot I felt in my stomach as I watched her walk away. Oh, the pizza. It's coming back. No, everything's gonna be fine. I know it. Because it's Kyoko. Talking to myself helped shake off some of my anxiety. But it didn't help shake off that the cameras were listening! Dun, dun, dun. And then I got to work. Okay, let's do this. Hey, Monokuma, you can see me, right? Get out of here, I've got a bone to pick with you. Then a few minutes later. Well, well, this is a surprise. You've been the one to call me out. Hey, by the way. Huh? What were you and Kyoko up to? Going to the bathhouse? Just the two of you in the middle of the night? Definitely a hot and steamy moment, wouldn't you say? So warm and wet, so wet and warm. Bet you guys. Remove to conform with the local international censorship laws. <laughs> All over her, didn't you? Uh, <laughs> Not gonna talk, huh? He knows I exploited. <laughs> <laughs> sure, I get it. <laughs> well, whatever. Unlike you, I have absolutely no interest in late night bath scenes. Because I like to maintain a healthy life of observation. Far away from X-rated exploits. <laughs> Oh, so is that why there's no surveillance cameras in the bathhouse? Bullseye! Or is it maybe because the lens got all fogged up and you can't see anything anyway? <laughs> sounds like that's the- That sounds like that's the bullseye to me. Anyway, you went to all that trouble to get me out here, now what do you want? Uh, well, um, there's just something I wanted to confirm with you. Whether I'm a mademoiselle or a dude fella? But in the Bear Kingdom, there is no male or female. Um, that's not actually correct. there is. Seriously? Th then what am I? My entire existence. That's enough. I'll get stuck if I think about it too much. What do you really want to ask me? Oh, uh, well, you told us earlier that your precious had been stolen. What's this precious of yours? G Listen, I'm, I'm sure this is a silly question. No way it's possible and all, but is that seriously what you dragged me out here to ask me? You gotta be kidding me! You gotta be a hundred megaton friggin' kidding me! You're not gonna ask something useful like how to get the best honey or ursine breeding tips? Oh, this is just crazy. Are all pu prepubescent bo are all pubescent teen boys as nutty as you? God, you're so annoying! Fine, I'll tell you, it was a key! And beep! That's it! What was that second thing? It's a blank, stupid. It's secret. Fill it in yourself. 
Making me trudge all the way out here for that. I'd like to see what's going on in that brain of yours. Probably all squiggly and mushy. And the next time you summon me for something so stupid, I'll open your skull and find out. Damn, son. <laughs> Dropping more than a few swear words, Monokuma stormed off. Phew. Hope I keep him distracted long enough. Now all I can do is wait and- Wait, I shouldn't be saying this out loud. <laughs> <laughs> now all I can do is wait and hope that Kyoko makes it out okay sneaking around without Monokuma seeing her. No, she'll be fine. It's Kyoko after all, and she's on the third floor. I'm sure she- She's dead! <laughs> I'm sure she's fine in the secret room, right? I went back to okay. my room and laid down, doing my best to settle my nerves and get back to sleep. I'm nervous. Yeah. I'm so- I'm, I'm like super attached to every character. Except for the ones that I hate, like Yaki and Yeah. Yep. Oh, was that it? <laughs> Whoa. Oh, Sakura. What the fuck? Damn, this is different. Has this ever been a visual style? No. This time, it's virtual. Damn, dude. Damn, 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 damn. Sakura's awesome. Why'd she have to die? Yes. Great question, Aaron. So upsetting. <laughs> hey, everybody! Let's do a dance. Go for it. Go for it, girl. What are you waiting for? Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. S Sakura's Revenge, the game the world has been waiting for. Unfortunately, development has been cancelled. Of course, if enough people buy Dog and Run. <laughs> <laughs> this game's funny. Yeah. I, I like the weird sense of humor. A super stylish, super fashionable game was cancelled during development. But it'll start back up if Dog and Rumpa sells well. Oh, okay. Nice. Nice. Wow. It's pretty bold to do that, like, fucking 30 hours into the game. Well, I mean, hey, I guess they figure anyone who's come this far probably likes yeah. it. Big Nong Bang Mom. Good morning, yep. everyone. Yeah, beautiful. Ugh, oh, my body feels so heavy this morning. Must be because I was up so late last night. Oh, I'm wearing an anvil. Shirk it off. <laughs> Oh, sorry. <laughs> anyway, I need to get to the dining hall. <laughs> <laughs> uh, leave the area? Yes. This could be some serious exploitation. <laughs> Kyoko! Are you alive? <laughs> yeah, seriously. This is always the question. Like, who shows nope. up? No! You're one minute late, Makoto. How do you explain this? Who is she? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm not feeling so great today. What's you really problem? think a tired excuse like that is gonna work? Huh? Are you allowed to talk again? I don't recall giving you permission. <gasps> I just thought, I mean, since a day had passed, it made me reset. This is sorry, please don't hate me. Whatever my punishment is, I'll accept it. I'll hang aside for my necklaces. Bad girl. I'll clean your room with my toothbrush. If you stop making disgusting comments like that, maybe I can forgive you. Thank you. I won't make any more disgusting comments, I promise. If I do, you can uh. stuff my mouth full of trash. As long as it's you and no one else, I don't mind. God, just shoot these two into the sun. <laughs> It's no use. She's disgusting to the bone. Anyway, um, where's Kyoko? I haven't seen her this morning. Could it be? Nah, cool. This is worse than being late for lunch, for a date, for your wedding, for anything. Um, Maybe she's mad about what happened yesterday and she's not gonna show up anymore. Uh, I can't tell the others why Kyoko might not be here, but I will anyway! The best thing to do right now is just keep quiet. Very strange. Whatever her reason, I'm curious to know what she is doing. I know she's not in her room, so... You know? Oh yeah, you still have her key, right? Hi, ah, you looking for Miss Kirigiri? <laughs> what, what do you want now? I'm right, right? You're wondering where Miss Kirigiri is, right? D do you know where she is? Hmm, well, that's hard to say. Huh? huh? You don't know either? What? It's because he doesn't know. That's why he's here. To try and prod us for information. Uh -huh. 
Hey, don't you hate it when he asks someone what their favorite movie is and they say some indie bullcrap? I feel like I'm getting whiplash the way he changes subjects like that. Thank goodness. Looks like Monokuma really didn't notice. So I guess our plan went off just fine last night. Which could mean... Maybe the Mastermind can't monitor us and control Monokuma at the same time. Could she have been right about that? So, was I right? You're looking for Miss Kirigiri? Any idea where she might have gone? We have no idea. And even if we did know, we wouldn't tell you! What the heck? For serious! Hmm, I see. Hmm, time for y'all to die. I don't care anymore. Sign our suckers! Ha! <laughs> As soon as he was gone, we all glanced around at each other. He's such a jerk. <laughs> yeah. So like he's already killed eight of your friends, and then he's like, Smell you later, dickwads! <laughs> like, Come on, man. <laughs> so, what was that just now? Does that mean Monokuma doesn't know where she is either? It would seem that way. You know? Where the heck could she have gone? Don't you think we should all go look for her? And how would you suggest we approach that task? Even Monokuma can't seem to locate her. Very suspicious. Yeah, how can he not know where she is? Yeah, so strange. Uh, Kyoko must have used that key to sneak into some unknown part of the school. I mean, shit, I should have been thinking that part. But somewhere even Monokuma <laughs> wouldn't notice. Where could it be? Where could he be? We sp <laughs> spent the rest of breakfast talking about where Kyoko could have gone. Afterwards, we return to our rooms. 3PO? <laughs> <laughs> Whew! Breakfast didn't help me feel any more upbeat, that's for sure. I feel like this is more than just staying up late last night. Oh, sick. Free time. Time to go to bed. <laughs> My favorite. It's like, I don't want to get attached to anybody. They're all going to die. Doesn't make it, it you don't know that. Doesn't make a bit of difference, guys. No one's died in quite some time. I, I think it's possible that a couple people might survive. Oh, really? I, I don't know. Shit. I don't know how this <laughs> ends. But it rare it rarely ends where like you're just the only one left. Everyone else is yeah. dead. But who fucking knows? I feel even worse than I did this morning. My body feels like lead and there's a pain in my head. <laughs> This is bad. I, th I thought that said, now I'm getting chilies. <laughs> and, and I'm like, yeah, of course you'll feel worse than you did in the morning. <laughs> Hi, welcome to Chili. This is bad. I think I might be getting sick. <laughs> All those chicken crispers. <laughs> and... Baby's back ribs. Oh, let's and relax. we sleep. Ah, uh, another beautiful ground flipping day. Durr, I'm getting the chills. I feel kind of dizzy. I can't help it. I need sleep. Nighttime wasn't for a while, but I feel like my body had reached its limit. As I dropped onto my bed, I felt like I was falling into a bottomless pit. I just needed to fart real bad. I was unconscious before my head hit the pillow. Well, that's not quite true. I didn't pass out completely. It was more like my consciousness went dim. I weaved back and forth between sleep and wakefulness, which is all to say... Yeah. <laughs> I was restless. <laughs> what a revelation. <laughs> At some point, I found myself wandering through a strange dream. And within the dream, a voice echoed across the walls of my mind. I under... understand. What? That voice. It's so familiar. Ah, it's... It's me! I understand. I should understand everything! We're ghosts, let's get out of here! Oh. What? I don't understand. Huh? What am I trying to say? This is all for hope. And that's why I have to stay. What? What in the world? To stay here. Uh, it's probably just my Stockholm Syndrome. Anyway, I woke up. Yeah, <laughs> yeah geez, I, I, I don't understand that comment. My dream just now... What? So 
so strange, huh? I kind of liked it. Ah. Oh shit. <laughs> Whoa! 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 Oh, are we are we dying right I don't now? Know. What's happening? <laughs> oh. What in the world? Mm, Nintendo. Yoko. What the? What did you? What did you say? What? The? Gosh dang it! Fuck. So confusing. Oh, 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 the fuck her mother. <laughs> Every day is peaceful. Every day is joyful. Happy days from the time you wake up to the time you go to sleep. Wishing only for those unchanging, unending happy days. Days of boredom repeating over forever and ever. Monday, Tuesday. Happy days. Tuesday, Tuesday Wednesday. No abnormalities as far as the eye can see. Life without the tiniest speck of abnormality. If the world were like that, I'd consider that pretty damn abnormal. Anyway, the shit I say doesn't matter. Yeah, time for those ding dong bing bongs. Gotta get the ding dong bing bongs in. You've got to, mister. Good. Oh, beautiful day. Okay. Oh, I awoke with a knife in my what chest. What happened? Yeah, seriously. Any dead bodies in the room? Took longer than usual for me to open my eyes on account of me dying. Huh. Yeah, what the heck? Let out a deep sigh to bring myself up to the rest of the way. Chills, the aches, the unfathomable lethargy. They had all disappeared in the night. All that was left was me, drenched and sweet. <laughs> it wasn't just because of whatever bug I'd caught either. It was also... The dream I had. What the hell was that? I mean, was it even really a dream? Or is this just fantasy? I was desperate to recall it. I scrambled to grab onto fragments of the dream and reel them up from the depths of my memory. Should've brought a dream journal. That's right. I remember last night. Kyoko came into my room and was like... <laughs> came down with a fever. Couldn't quite get to sleep. And I... I heard a voice. I didn't really understand. And then... I really, really didn't understand. Huh? <laughs> All of a sudden, I was awake. <laughs> yes, we remember when this happened. Two seconds ago. And a chocolate cake I did bake. And there was a strange person standing next to my bed wearing a mask. And they were holding a knife. Could you imagine how long it would take to do anything if everyone recapped what they just oh God, said and saw so true. five seconds previously? I want to say I fought them off, but I don't actually remember. Felt like my mind had been detached from my body, burning up with fever. I dropped a load of piss in the toilet. I flushed. I remember flushing. It was it was intense. An intense sound Water rang to my counterclockwise. <laughs> As I walked away from the toilet, I remembered the piss that I just took. <laughs> I was somewhere far away, watching my body move on its own, and because of that, I dropped a load of piss in the toilet. I don't remember what really happened, but still, I feel like I resisted them desperately, feverishly. After that, things go black again. The next thing I remember, Kyoko. But what would she have been doing in my room? What could she possibly want with me? What a strange dream. She was spying on my giblets! <laughs> no, was it really a dream? How can I possibly find out either way? Guess I'll ask Kyoko. Yeah. Is there a way to confirm if that really was a dream or not? Oh, I'll check to see if the knife was there, I guess. Nice. I opened the desk drawer and... <gasps> Huh? It's empty! There's nothing inside! Wait, nothing inside? That's strange. Because it definitely wasn't before. I'm positive I put the knife I got from Toko in there! Wait, that means... Oh the knife! God. They told me to keep safe! I didn't keep it safe! I knew it. Just had feeling. It wasn't a dream after all. It was a non-dream. But if that's true... It was more than a feeling. <laughs> God, I could write a song about this in 1976. <laughs> yeah. Kyoko made me high on believing! But if that's true, this all makes even less sense. 
It makes dollars! Why would someone have wanted to attack me? And who was behind the mask? And why was Kyoko... What the hell is going on? Well, I don't think I'm gonna figure it out on my own. I should head to the Great. dining hall. Then I could talk to everyone else about it. But first, maybe one more recap. <laughs> yeah. I remember there was a person with a knife hovering above my body. I was like, what? And then the person was like, Ugh. And I was like, duh. And then everything was like, huh. Anyway, I woke up and- came out of left field? <laughs> yeah. I woke up and I tried to recap what to happened to me. Let's just go to the dining hall real quick. Okay. Because I want to see who's still alive. Okay. Leave the area? No. Dug -a -dug -a -dug. Yeah. Whatevs. <laughs> so hungry! Ah! <laughs> Eggs! <laughs> I don't care who's alive, I just want a bagel! I need him! Wow, it's just oh. Hina. Oh dear. Oh, Makoto! Yep, that's Makoto! Sure is the sky's blue! Oh, man. Well, I guess we'll find out what's happening this time of game room. Oh, man, so mysterious. Okay. See you next time, everybody. Bye. Goodbye. Do what you want to get away.